a new bill on Beacon Hill, which could make protests like this one outside Governor Baker's home illegal. The legislation would ban any protest that comes within 100 yards of a politician's house. As WBC political analyst John Keller shows us, the issue tests the boundaries of free speech. Environmental activists chained to a boat blocking Governor Baker's driveway. This recent demonstration at his home was peaceful. That's incredibly frightening to me. But when protesters dumped dirty needles on the governor's front walk last year and called out to First Lady Lauren Baker, who was at home, she was terrified. Are they trying to make me come outside and step on the needles or interact with the needles? I'm afraid of that. <laughs> At a time when demonstrations can and do turn violent all too often, protests are coming home to the doorsteps of politicians. People take it upon themselves that any public official has no privacy. And if State Rep Stephen Howitt's bill becomes law, any protest within 300 feet of an elected official's home could earn up to a year in jail. I don't think a family should be brought into uh, a situation because of the elected officials decision or speech or whatever the case may be but this Boston College law professor says restrictions on peaceful protest must be narrowly tailored uh, a peaceful protest where they're not throwing rocks or or, or I think that's the essence of our democracy I think in some cases good people are not running for office because they fear um, repercussions that would affect their families. I feel for the family, I feel for the, but, but that's the nature of being in public life. Hmm. You know, and it's interesting, John, we've seen these people, they're in public, but they were at Governor Baker's home, or we saw Senator Kirsten Cinema followed right into a ladies' room. Yeah. Do you think personal confrontations like that are deterring people from running for, for office? I don't think there's any question about it. I've had People tell me that directly who thought about running for office. Uh, but you know what? A new law like the one that's being proposed, while well-meaning, isn't going to stop it. Mm. It's a broader cultural problem. The guardrails are down. Until we get to a point, once again, where people get it about exercising some restraint, no law is going to preclude this kind of vile behavior. Right. John Keller, thanks so much. And